is Connor from 10 years old. Me and my dad are going to build a rudder. Very good. That's right, the rudder. No, no. <laughs> All right, so let's glue the rest of it together. The uh, frame came out really nice and clean, popped right out. Uh, I finished today properly fitting the gussets to be ready to be glued and clamped on. So I'm very, very, very happy with everything. Let's get top right there. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the gussets in the ribs and the guy sits on the top piece up here. Got our clamps, glue, clamps, cocktail, you know, that makes it better. And uh, let's see, that's about it. I'll put some post pictures up in videos after I'm done. Well, here we have it a com semi completed vertical stab. The clamps are off. It's been over, a little over 72 hours since the uh, T88 went on. I did some initial sanding. Um, some other things I have to do to finish this up before I get to the varnish is take this down uh, to make flush with the gussets. Also taper this off to the trailing edge. I'm gonna sand the corners here, the ribs, to the beating and trailing edge flush. I'm going to take a uh, router and I'm going to uh, route a quarter inch radius uh, on the nose, the leading edge there, and around the top of up here. So we're going to take a, we're going to round this off on the top as well. And finish sanding it up and get it ready for a couple coats of varnish. Hey, how's it going? I'm not really sure where I left off, but here's where I'm at now. I got the vertical stab almost complete. A few things to do. Um, I glued the frame into the jig, let it cure, popped it out, um, cut my gussets, fitted them, glued them in, uh, popped it. Uh, actually, it was already popped off the jig. Uh, once the gussets were done and set up, I then went and glued on the ribs, cut, sand, cut and sanded them to shape. And that came out pretty nice. Um, I put a curve on the leading edge. I used a router, running it up and down on either side. I think I used a 3 8 inch roundover. And then I finished it up with a palm sander. Today I put the taper in. Uh, from the back of the trailing edge of the vertical stab, it kind of comes down to a point. You know, it just tapers very slightly, but I did monkey it up right here. And you'll see a little, hold on, you'll see a little dig right out there. Hey, if that matters in the performance of this airplane, then we might just well pack it up and go home. <laughs> because uh, you can see, oh, there you go. You can really see it there. But that's not going to make a bit of difference. And I can even fill that in. And it will be right as rain. So the next step is to install um, some filler materials, gussets if you will, um, right here on either side of the trailing edge of the vertical stab above the top rib. Now what these do is these act as a filler and something as a, there's another one here, let's go on the other side. What these do is they, let me show you. These act as a support point uh, and to bring the surface of that flush again uh, with the, uh, the vertical stab here. So you can put the brace uh, bracket with the wiring to go down. I don't know if that makes sense. If I describe that well, very well, probably not. So yeah, there's a rabbit in there 
And to bring the surface back flush, you gotta put that little cuss in there. And then the brace goes against that. That's all I'm doing right now today. I did a little bit of sanding. Um, so I'm gonna mix up some glue and clamp on either side, that one and that one, using that and those. That's it. And this will be almost done. We gotta put some hinges in, but I'm gonna wait until that is done, the rudder which is gonna be coming up very shortly thereafter. So I've got the jig ready. So it's just a repeat of what we did with that, with this. So, thanks for watching. Well, that looks about right. <laughs>